Kathy Griffin, who has never been shy about provoking people with her comedy, has really done it this time. She had herself photographed holding a mock, decapitated, head of Donald Trump. Griffin's many critics, on the right and the left, responded with outraged tweets mentioning these sorts of sentiments. She's pure evil. She's a dumb idiot. She's not funny. Now the U.S. Secret Service says it's looking into what she's calling an expression of art. But what was the point of her photo shoot with Tyler Shields, a self-described artist photographer famous for edgy imagery? He posted a YouTube video of his shoot with Griffin, in which she declines to explain much about what they were doing or why they were doing it. In it, Griffin, wearing a blue dress, is shown holding up a head streaked with what appears to be blood of President Trump by the hair. At one point, she drops it. At another point, she jokes to Shields that they were going to have to run away to Mexico after the images go public. I won't give away what we were doing but Tyler and I are not afraid to do images that make noise, she says in the video clip, in which she praises Shields for making her look like she's 15. She's 56. But first I'm an artist. But it's good lighting. Yo, what's up everybody again? Uh, I'm gonna give my commentary, what I think about Kathy Griffin, uh, beheading Donald Trump, uh, making a joke about that. It's not funny, Kraft, uh, Kathy Griffin. And even though I don't support the man, I don't uh, agree with him being president, I also uh, don't uh, condone to any violence against the man, neither. Uh, you know, give the man a chance, even though that we don't agree with the man, we need to give him a chance. Like we gave uh, Barack Obama a chance, and Bush a chance, and who knows. But uh, anyways, I just think that this is really sickening. And I'm glad the FBI is investigating this. And a lot of people have been saying from the left and right, Democrats and Republicans know that this is sick and unacceptable. And uh, hopefully uh, they uh, do something about this because I don't, you know, dislike Kathy Griffin, uh, but I think what she did is she went way too far with it, and uh, I understand some of Trump's positions can be flawed and can be, you know, disagreed upon, but uh, making a video on Twitter of uh, beheading President Donald Trump, uh, that's really not the way to go. And I know Kathy Griffin don't like Donald Trump and don't agree with Donald Trump. A lot of us don't agree with Donald Trump. I don't agree with everything that Donald Trump has said and did. Uh, just like when he shared classified information uh, with the Russian, uh, I don't agree, you know, from what I heard. I, I'm not really for sure, but this is a disclaimer. Uh, but anyway, I don't agree with everything Donald Trump say. I'm not a Donald Trump supporter. I don't represent uh, one party. I'm not one-sided. I feel like if somebody does this to a Democrat or a Republican, uh, they should be exposed and they should be called out for this sickness and and this buffoonery, period. I don't care who you are, and I'm fair with everybody, even though I don't agree with everything that Republicans say or do. 
but I do feel like it's uh, things that you do and it's things that you don't do. And this one is 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 one of them that you don't do. And uh, and even if she was trying to say that she don't condone the violence, but uh, you're gonna go and and behead, you know, make a behead, make a, a mockery of this, and then drop the head, drop the mask and stuff. That's just not right. That is just not right. And I hope nobody is supporting this, and uh, we don't need to do this to you know, our president. And even though that a lot of us uh, don't want him being our president, you know, still we're going to have to respect the fact that he is our president. And we're going to have to do 